Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I'm flying. This, this game is all, it's always so hilarious, and so I can't help but live here just now. It's what's for you, man. Bob, Bob, Doc, Bob, God. Um, you're probably wondering why I play what a recording rather most of the right now. It's because um, I have uh, been wanting to get back to this game for a while. I'm going to do that over. I'm gonna have records that on Sundays. Um, this is a pure comedy game, in case you've got ladies and gentlemen, extra 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 droplets. And uh, let's face it, with all the the bowl going on, the demon traps, we need more comedy. So yeah, um, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, and so, um, in case you've forgotten, I've named her Jerkette McGee, uh, for, uh, Molly Drogout Game, who first introduced me to this game, and, uh, it's been a while since I've played this, it's been, I think since last year, um, back in 2023, and, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to get back to it for a while. Okay, um, and, uh, I'm pretty sure this is I gonna be the route I do this time around, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy is a consummate downer, but he's really funny for it. As I said, all these guys are really funny. This is a pure comedy game, so, uh, yeah. Why? We know we, we already know each other, unfortunately. She does. Oh. <laughs> He's right. Introductions are the first thing. What's up? We will go around the world and take turns. Okay, so we got, I'm, I'm going to live here, the school nurse. I had a lecture voice because in the alternate reality game, actually, Ask Ash actually blood droplets. He, uh, all of them are like total madmen and not like business man, like actual man man, like it actually lunatics <laughs> and uh and he including him and um and so is uh her uh, sister in that game um uh, but yeah so that, that's why I'm giving him uh Hannibal Electric kind of voice. Do you think she was first win? How about we go a little bit? I think that's bad. And what are we supposed to say? No name, of course. You can answer a few questions and ask yourself. Be where you came from before you enrolled here, you've been here, and naturally, and something interesting about yourself. That's not a question. Sure, but you have to include it anyway. Alright, now, if I take a seat, please to the first person to introduce himself. You all know when it's your turn, right? Yep. I'm taking the rest of your sounds to see us, okay? Now, let's get started. Groupmate one, please stand up and introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Effie. Full name, please. My name is Evan Gray. I come from SoCal. I don't know why I give him a, a New York accent when he comes from SoCal, but it just seems to fit to me. Been here since I was a kid before, because I've always been you know, that one. I know everyone knows. Another thing there's about to know about this place. See, if you have any feel, have any questions, feel free to anyone ask anyone except for me. Because I have no patience for people like you. That's not a very good detail about yourself. Would saying I don't want to be here with Beth for you? Last week, I think we could have the tell. Well, let me see. This is, this is off me anyway, so this here's fine. But I'm quite sure you do, I think. Mm hmm. Can you be the last voice to say something how long you've been here? The answer was pretty big since kindergarten when I was five, so that didn't look good enough for you. 
Wow, seriously, Simon? You've like never lived in the real world before. This is a boarding school, not an average tower. This is from the public school the real world. Do you pay taxes? Oh, someone thought he you've been here for a while too, huh? The taxes didn't exist. A theft. I have. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back for that. I think it's pretty rare for you to get something right. Wait, dodge the question. Haha, <laughs> yes. It has been here for a while. In fact, it's his turn next. Why not to introduce yourself? You can sit down. Don't have to tell me twice. Nate lost that came from New York and rolled a couple of months after it did. And... Come on, Nate, there must be something about you. It's always weird, Christine. No, I guess there's in my atrocious dog. Alright. You know, Nate... You know, Nate's very active in a lot of after-school activities. Oh, Nate. Okay, you're next. Please start off and introduce us. No problem, I'm so few. It's nice to meet you. Been here since my fate since my second year of middle school and I really like hats. Thank you, sir. I'm oh, glad you forgot to stay there from. Ah, uh, <laughs> I forgot. I keep my teddy. No one's live here, don't live there anymore. Me and my mom live here now. That's great, next. Fine, please sit down, so I'll let the next person come to the front. Sure thing. Hello, my name is Babe Hewn, and what were the questions again? I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> How lucky and expected for you. If you weren't paying attention at all, how do you know it was your turn? Is that one of the questions I have to answer? Not if you don't want to. The required questions are your name, where you came from, how long you've been here, something else you see about yourself. That last one is the question, though. I know. Well then, let's do this again. Babe Pune, Florida, since last year, no one in this school likes me. Oh, babe. <laughs> is it a high? Maybe, but it's true. And it's not like I'm mad. I won't want these people to like me anyway. That's not true, man. I'm so sure there are people who like me. I like big. Mm, well, there you go. I think you should actually eat. <laughs> Space on you. What? No one still is cute this way. What is he? Yeah, Wayne, what is he? Salo uh, likes being nice. He likes pretending to be nice. <laughs> Sweet liar, indeed. <laughs> Close enough. Alright, let's not gag up on Salo. Instead, let's have another introduction. Please sit down there and do not lose your Let. Alright, yeah, I'm probably going to do base route next time. I forget what, what the order of the guys is. This was actually my favorite. This guy was actually my favorite route when Molly did the roots. I found it is the funniest goal. Jeremy. <laughs> uh, Jeremy came this town since spring this year, and there isn't anything interesting about me. Please start back up. There are plenty of things this is about. People aren't interested in here about once the people listening decide that it's interesting. And none of you are going to find anything about me interesting. So there's nothing interesting about me. Fine, you can sit down. Tell me it's very well here. Get you now. Next. Please introduce yourself. You can't move on if you don't introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much his standard response to everything. <laughs> I'm trying to remember his name now. Um, Pran. Pran uh, is pretty much a silent type. Just 
will completely ignore everyone and everything. <laughs> and this is pretty much Everett's standard response to everything is swearing. <laughs> Screw you, I don't have all day. Then you introduce him. I do it myself, but I don't know anything about him. Well, alright, well, at least stand up and I'll say your introduction. Given up there, then? Of course not, but David Simpson's name was Brown Taylor. Did all of his Simpson's town. I'm rolled aside, filled it in this year's spring, and it's a third town to talk to. Yes, your turn. Mommy, my name is Jake McGee. I'm from Oregon, and I've been here a few days. Yeah, I'm currently single, you can't eat. <laughs> okay, it's next to stop. I get off with this better. Was participating. Is this over yet? Where are you and you didn't do the instruction. Oh, you can't see if I introduce myself to already. We aren't leaving, what are we doing? Good question. I actually need to speak to you for a bit. I'd like to explain when we're going to have these meetings. Brace yourselves. What, is winter coming? <laughs> That old meme from uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> we're going to have meetings like this once I fail a month, but we're going to skip the one that happened to our midsummer meetings and think of things going on. I still say, we always say that's a load of crap. There should be no school in summer. Indeed, Alice Cooper had that song, School's Out for the Summer. I actually met him in real life at Comic-Con. I was uh, cosplaying Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. And it was really cool because he actually seemed to dig the cosplay. I'll put the uh, picture right here. That's it? Isn't there only five meetings? For one year, yes. That can't be right. It is, essentially. That sounds incredibly suspicious. Let's keep an eye on the phone. Text me. <sighs> so we're done now, then? Not yet. We still have to do, do something on the original sessions. Cool, like that. And I think we should take a break from speaking as why don't you all go off and chat for them? Nothing has the best chance to for more personal interaction. We have to talk to someone. Please at least try. No promises. Right, well, go on, have fun. Okay, so yeah, um, actually I think we're gonna save Jerry for last, because we save the best for last. Okay, so. Good old day. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> you can't say good old about any of these guys. <laughs> hey, babe. Hello, see you as well. So why does everyone hate you? Well, that was more fun than I was expecting. Super sorry. No need to fake apologize, I don't care. As for your question, they don't like me because they can't relate to me. Amazingly enough, I don't fit in with a bunch of immature heroes like the students say. I say heroes calling other people mature? Haha. <laughs> well, I'm afraid you find that funny. Oh, it's not that. Do you do I watch that what it is? Mm, probably not. I... It's just the old dear maturity means this is sweet. You're rather patronizing, aren't you? It is indeed. That's part of what makes him so much fun. <laughs> Just a bit twinkle. But I mean, well. Can you not call me that? He has these odd nicknames for everyone. It's, it's all kinds of fun. This whole <laughs> game is a pure comedy game, as I said. I don't know. Can I? Oh, brother, you're a difficult one. <laughs> so. Well, I see you 
guys. You guys can apologize that way and you're now you're doing it. Very good. Is that all you want to know? I guess unless there's much why you're put in this group. No, I think that's all. Clear that I'm flowing in the school's groups, whether it's the clicks made up by the songs through those faculty phone groups. There's just no place for me here. Then why are you here? To go to school. <laughs> Who cares about making friends with high school? They're going to land in the long run. I don't think that's true. Not with that attitude. Not with any attitude. You have to be a silly boy if you keep people you hung up there the entire school as part of your life friends or something. Why is that? Because chances are you're not so small in high school. And you're exception said chances? Now when did I say that? You have to see. Haha, <laughs> exactly. Alright, I'll see you later, babe. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Come back together for a minute, please. So I was thinking now we could spend a little bit of time talking as a whole. Seriously, is it the first meeting of whatever it's supposed to be short? Yeah, can you just let this end? It'll only be a couple minutes. Brown, could you come a little closer? Uh, well, I'll stay over there and keep Brown company. First, you can have a group discuss. I'll get to it. And put your phone away. The meeting is not over yet. I know, that's why I'm using my phone to complain about it. <laughs> you can do that later. Can't do that actually, because I'll be complaining out loud. Oh, it's so Fine, maybe that will stop this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you know I'm using, using a flip phone, I know, right? Because smartphones are impulsive. Yeah, they're pretty lame. <laughs> Seriously, what's the deal with you two? I agree so much. Oh, we're friends. Is it really that hard for you to figure out? I thought people in this group didn't have friends. I suppose it doesn't care when they're friends with people or when want to be friends with someone else. As if, it's my, as if it needs my only friend. I've got tons of friends. Uh huh. Can anyone else here claim, claim to have a friend? You possibly even more than one? My friends. <sighs> oh, you said you're my friend, Jeremy. No. Then why did you sign nowhere? He's always signing, it never matters why. I think you yeah, why. Most of us don't. That's that's fine. I know I'm not needed for this conversation. Wait, it's so small. That's something no one would even sarcastically say about you. Oh! Yeah, because people actually give me a real confidence. I'm like, you, you ugly bitch. I like, chill face! <laughs> As we used to say in high school in real life. Okay, if that's what you want to think. <laughs> this face on. Don't be such a jerk ever. Jeremy hasn't done anything. I don't want to tell you to piss off, but if I had to pick, I'd rather you listen to your job than his. Jeez, can't you even try to make this group work? Uh, no. He doesn't have to. All he has to do is show up and participate. He's not obligated to treat you any differently than usual to make this work. That's so generous of you, stop it. Are you sure you're not only expecting too little of him? Things will be different with this related group. This group is destined for failure either way. Wow, this must be a big phone for you then, hmm? You're very first failure. It's not my failure, it's the school's. I think we can get along if we tried. Me too. Of course we could if everyone tried, but there are certain people in this group who could not be moved to try under any circumstances. So anyone who's willing to, who's trying is wasting energy to the pointless endeavor. I don't know about you, but I've got better things to worry about. 
Please don't give up on all the crew already. Um, this whole group won't exist because people gave up. <sighs> okay, everyone. Thank you again for coming today. I really appreciate it. I hope we'll be able to get to know each other much better throughout this year. That's it. You can leave now. Finally. Remember to keep my eyes on my text and be so respond to me so that no one's in page. Yeah, yeah, we gave. If you don't come, I'll find you in person. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Bye, Lou. So, that was interesting. That's I think that went better than they could have. I don't get that. Well, Zucat, what do you think of your feelings? They go great enough. Anything else? I'm thinking they may be talking about too. We'll see. Oh god, I'm glad you like that. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> so, do I do have something for you? Really? What is it? Yes, the numbers, just in case you want to get in touch with me. Sweet! Did you even tell me we were going to give me these? No. <laughs> I thought so, that's cool. I'm sure I would, they won't mind off. Thanks, man. Yes, nothing. I'll see you soon, okay? Sounds good. Alright, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do these. Say first. Alright, well, actually not first because fourth because uh yeah. Alright, so um yeah, cast the yeah, here we go. Um never really understood how just waving or saying hello gets you to uh, to uh to lose energy, but yeah. Okay, so, um, whoops, wrong button, okay, so, everyone is at 30 step jocks. Okay, so all these copies here, oh, I should take this. Okay, Caleb. Caleb, if I remember correctly, is one of like, the secret routes, sort of. There are other routes other than the main... Ah, why did I do that? Then the main dudes. Um... Okay, so there's Shell Naked and others. Um... Okay, so I'm actually gonna uh, there's, yeah. Gabe. Okay, show me, it's cool. Hey, how's it going? Hi, JB. Uh, Julius Bravo, military phonetics, so I doubt that you know that. I pride myself on military phonetics knowledge, even though I'm not part of the military yet. Yet being that put a word. Never when there's a demon trap unlawfully in office. But that's another story for another time. And, uh, it stands for Jelly Bean. I'm great, how are you? Look, you feel fine, as always. So what are you up to right now? I'm just trying to go to work. Got a job? Sort of. You sort of have a job. Pretty sure that's one of these things for you to do you don't. You'd be surprised, there's a black creator who came to the kind of thing. Alright, you like me. Sure. So it's... The school doesn't allow students to have a real job if it's part time. Seriously, I know, right? That's no load of crap. Yeah, I'm not surprised you didn't know, but this is a bit sexual life won't have to be if you want to stay here. Why? The way you focus on it in school, don't be able to place employed by any place that's even questionable. What do you think of high school has got a job? Who knows? Anyway, these they're really smart enough to know that your experience can be a good thing, so they put up this weird work program. Basically, on the weekends, you can sign up to go place of employment this partner up with his program and go with for every day. No job for just one day? Yep, yeah, you can sign up again every Saturday and Sunday. 
So the students make a little extra money and get experience, but they're never have to worry about consist consistent time to consistently work. They only do it when they have the time. And the school gets updates directly from the employer on how the students are going and how they make sure they have a safe and approved environment. When the students get out, it seems like a real hazy deal for them. The school stuff on part of the students' wages. They get cheap labor. Yes, that makes sense. If that's be cheap, you don't play people who really can't come. You can only come in when you feel like it. Yeah, but whatever. It's not like the stores are focused on partnering, forcing to partner with the school. Sure, so what do they do? What do you work? Or do you just pick a different place every time? Work a little bakery. Most people stick to the same jobs and it's trying to nice to continue co work in the job. If you like them long enough, the pay you more to encourage you to keep picking them. Cool, thanks for the tip. It's nothing but a bigger coin. I understand. When will you be late for your kind of sort of job now, wouldn't we? I have my budget be. See you later, they say. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't remember all of this, so I think I'm going to go through the picture of my phone because I'm going to bore you guys. Um. all this all over again. You're right, yeah. Okay, so, um, let me just check out and finish recording. Yeah, that's actually going to be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know that it hasn't been much yet, but trust the crap out of me. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, if you do what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I'll sub back for you anyway.